Well, there's a new call from Illinois lawmakers to make buildings safer after a tornado killed six workers at an Amazon warehouse in Edwardsville. Andy Banker shows us storm shelters that can withstand even the worst tornado and the push to make them required by law. An Amazon spokeswoman says the company plans to be back in business right here once the warehouse is rebuilt. There's no word on when that might be and no word on whether that rebuilt warehouse will include a true storm shelter that would have withstood the December 10th tornado. National Storm Shelter Association tests show what a 2x4 flying at 100 miles an hour does to a standard door. Here's what happens to a reinforced door for an actual storm shelter. The difference can be life-saving. Yet in the city of warehouses surrounding the Amazon building in Edwardsville, which have no basements because of a high water table, there is no requirement for tornado-ready storm shelters. You know, they use their restrooms or interior offices that they deemed as refuge areas. They're not tornado shelters. They won't protect you. Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker asked about storm shelters when he toured the site in December. He said building codes should be reviewed to keep up with the changing climate that dished out a deadly EF3 tornado with 155 mile an hour wind speeds at a time when snow used to be more likely. State reps Jay Hoffman and Katie Stewart represent the area. They toured the site with the governor then and are now pushing for change. This tornado highlights the need to review. Stewart read a letter from the Edwardsville Fire Chief calling for new standards during an online hearing of the House Labor and Commerce Committee this week. Experts from across the warehouse industry talked about adopting the ICC 500 code to require storm shelters for so-called tilt-up buildings with concrete walls tilted up from the ground and secured to a roof. Jim Bell of the Storm Shelter Association says most are built to withstand only 90 mile an hour winds, but storm shelters built to the ICC 500 code withstand even the most catastrophic EF5 tornadoes. As for the cost, if an area you're going to harden to make it into a safe room costs about 30% more for that section. Meaning it would add 10 to $80,000 to the cost of a 25 to $50 million warehouse, far less than 1%. We can't do nothing. Um, we have to do something. We can't have another tragedy like this. The question here is, can you uh, develop a statewide policy that makes everyone safer? What I hear is that there wasn't really enough areas or spaces that were truly safe for the workers to go. Missouri faces the same issue. Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.